Hello, folks. Welcome back to Furox Gaming. Your host, Rex Talano here. And today, I'm going to try a different type of game today. I'm going to try UFC 4. Why UFC 4? Well, mainly because of the fact that I actually haven't played these games before. I mean, yeah, I always try traditional fighting games, action-adventure games, shooter games all the time. I mean, come on. The, uh, the list I go through is, like, endless. <laughs> So I decided, why not a sport fighting game? I know Furox Rock talked about this game in the past, but now it's my turn to talk about this game. <laughs> now, in retrospective, I have the game already in the console. <laughs> I got my controller. I got a list of gaming <laughs> of characters right here <laughs> and the profiles. So, without further ado, let's get on to UFC 4. Ah, hello. That's right, we're really doing this. UFC 4, folks. I have never actually played this game before. I mean, I've played UFC 2, and 1, and 3. Uh, be fair, 3 is actually by far the better game, with the controls. But I've never played 4. Or 5. Then again, we really. Then again, here at the Ferox Channel, we really don't have a uh, PS5, so. Yeah. We have some financial problems at the moment, so. Uh, we could do what we can, but who knows? Maybe at some point we'll get one. And maybe Ferox Frank will get back to making that movie of his. But, to be fair, he should release a new film by tomorrow. It should be nice. Well, let's see how this is. We got... Wait, who is this guy? Wait, is this is, uh... Is this David Moretti? His, uh, fighter? Let's go down the creative fighter real quick. Rez King. Nico Kamazi. Oscar Martinez. Gerald Phillips. Sarah Widman. Or Wideman. Did, oh, so it is David Moretti. Yeah, his uh, go-to. Oh yeah, his go-to MMA guy. Yeah, Eric Dalton, Lily Moretti. What's with the gothic? What's with the makeup? The hell? Skyler Morris, Max Holdsworth, Ryan Davison. Huh. I wonder if this is the guy that that was based on One Shoe Wonder's original character, Ryu Dumas. <laughs> Jason Walker, Shari Kalbov, uh, pretty sure I butchered that name, Leo Mayer, K Casey Lyola, F wait a minute, from his, this is the guy that's actually in the novel we're working on right now, huh, huh, Dan Mora, huh? Jordan Marshall, wait, the boxing character from the Fight Night games, Tony Sweet, Hey, that's his rival. Frank Diwali? Uh, Davis Friedman? Huh. Oh yeah, I remember Davis Friedman. He's the, he was the cool guy. He was the martial art guy. That was kind of like a cooler version of what, what Steven Seagal wishes he could be. Yeah. Okay, I, I really gotta see. Let me take a look at this Casey Loyola guy. The main character of the so-called lie novel we're working on. Okay. Heavyweight. 225. 6 4. The Assassin from Belmont, New Jersey. Um. Okay. Fighting style. Balance versus 12. Huh. Well, that being said, let's take a look at the game. Well, uh, that being said, let's uh, try the game out. <laughs> okay, I really gotta take a look at Lily. Why she look like that? I know she's David Moretti's wife. What the hell? Wow. 
What the? Okay then, I'm assuming that's supposed to be like tattoo or makeup. Huh. Hang on a second. Let me look at her file here. Okay, uh, Lily Moretti. Uh, born in South Africa, Korean Irish descent, uh, with Native American. <laughs> so, background ancestry of uh, the Taekwondo major, goth. Hmm. Okay, so she's, uh, Asian Native American born from South Africa. But wait a minute. Okay, so her family is actually that of a uh, mostly Korean, slight Irish ancestry, but has a Native American background. Uh, huh. Interesting. Very interesting. How many kids does she and David actually have? Four. Oh, she's looking good for her. Well, she looks good. Okay. Okay, let me take a look at David's file. Let's see. Born in Milan, Italy. Raised in New Jersey. Italian, mostly all Italian heritage. Mother is half Italian, French Canadian. Hmm, interesting. Martial arts background, varying from from Shorin Ryu Karate, kickboxing, and MMA. Okay. <sighs> Well, fuck it. Let's get this on the way. Do 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 do. Okay, everybody's here in light heavyweight format. I'm just curious. So Ryan Davison. Jiu-Jitsu Vanguard. Mm, that should be interesting. Well, either way. Let's see. I'm going to take a look at Ryan Davis's background. Okay, he has a uh, hardcore background. Born wrong side of the tracks. Jiu-Jitsu expert. Wait, Jiu-Jitsu? Not not Brazilian, but pure Japanese traditional jujitsu with striking involved into it. So he has old school jujitsu. Um. Okay then. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> It's amazing you can actually wear track pants or sweatpants during this. <laughs> Not just shorts. Let's go, guys, fight! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Punch, punch. What the fuck was that? Wait, what the hell? Damn! Wait a minute, this is jujitsu style? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Whoa, what the hell? I could actually do that? Get the fuck out of here. What the hell? Oh, okay, wait, 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 hold on a second. Let me look this up real quick. Uh, hold on a second. I got the computer right here. Okay, uh, uh, okay, here we go. Jiu-Jitsu Vanguard is Japanese Jiu-Jitsu style with karate style strikes, possibly the origin of martial arts in Japan that led to Taijutsu, Kopujutsu, and Karate. 
So this is basically old school style jujitsu that you don't really see in these martial art films from Japan. I'll stick the karate, thank you. Ah. Eat shit. Mm. Oh, damn, I knocked his ass out. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. So, that's old school style jujitsu. Huh. Too bad he doesn't have the traditional outfit. That would have been nice. Hmm. Kind of weird that he's doing a little capoeira style kicking here, but. Yeah, why would you want to use Capoeira in MMA? It's kind of useless. Huh. He's not even touching the fence, what the hell? Boop. Oh yeah, Mr. Henderson, that was a real... Ladies that was really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh... Wait, they saw this... They saw this thing here? Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, let's change fighters. Let's try somebody else. Okay, continue with the blue corner. Wait, does it have to keep going to a wall to wait each time? What is that the was that the default setting? Are you serious? Ugh. What the hell? I, I thought David Moretti was in the was a catchweight between light heavyweight and middleweight. What the hell? Okay, so Dan so David Moretti could actually so your main fighter could actually fight in all weight classes that is kind of weird and I'm afraid to look up the women's division okay let's take a look at it okay there's Chari what's David really so it's some default female character that's ripped and has the same tattoos as David does. I guess I'll just play as Lily today. <laughs> it's Lily's fighting style. Combative Taekwondo and Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Why the hell she had that? Wait a minute. Because of her goth persona, she, some people. David basically decided to actually give her goth persona based off on Australian box female boxer and OnlyFans model, Barbie Triple Six. Wait, what? Okay, I gotta look this up real quick. What does this Barbie Triple Six look like? Ugh. RB triple six. <laughs> okay. Well, she's got a hot. Well, the only difference is that this girl's Australian and is actually predominantly Caucasian, while Lily here is actually Asian. What's this? Oh, well, Lily's actually five foot. Th is actually what five foot something? And this girl's like five ten. Hmm. They really need to bring back the Fight Night series and put female fighters in there. This is kind of ridiculous. Ready. You ready to okay.
kick, punch, it's all in the mind. You know, I don't think anybody's played that game in a long time. Ow. Okay, uh, what the hell? Is that a glitch? Oh, I just love games that have glitches in them. <laughs> it makes the game more fun. Unless it's a stress to do a sing horror game and you and you're struggling and then it glitches out on you, then you have a problem. And I just kicked her once she was down. Pretty sure that was illegal. Okay, might as well submit. Well, the submission system is like, bleh. Seriously, I think I like the simple submissions better in the other game. At least it's not like how the other screen games were, where the where it's like a freaking mini game half the time. Okay, yeah, that's actually kind of a stress-inducing thing too. The way you have to hear the how or the heart pounding. I gotta look at this girl again. Damn. Huh. I wonder if she'll ever be on Ultimate Fighter. Let's get a couple more fights in. Alright, let's play as the man, David Mitchell. Let's see how we... I mean, yeah. Oh, let's play as David Moretti. Why did I say David Mitchell? Oh yeah, that's like... Oh yeah, that was his old name. Must be his old stage name or something, I don't know. It's freaking weird. Alright, David Moretti. Alright, let's see how he plays. Still in Prudential Center, which is like what, several blocks away from us? Yeah, show the crown love there, David. I kind of see that maybe David was inspired by Sasha Mitchell's character, for David Sloan from uh, Kickboxer. Oh, now I get it. Uh, David Moretti was mauled after Sasha Mitchell's character from the Kickboxer series, David Sloan. Huh. I wonder what the hell he should. Oh, he must switch it to Moretti to give him more of an Italian sounding name. Oh, he first me around too. See why uh, why Furox likes to use this guy a lot. 
Huh. I mean, I should call it here, but... <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I should probably, like, uh... Yeah, I, I probably should probably get, like... The... Yeah, I need to get Casey uh, Lyola on this one. Boom. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can play this case of Iola real quick. Uh, plus, I got to get back to Resident Evil 4. I mean, I'm playing through Resident Evil 4 Remake right now. You know, just to see how the game is. It's pretty good. I can see why Ferox Frank actually says that why the internet loves it. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe there's another reason why. I know we got that game for him because so he wouldn't feel so down. But still. Alright. Let's uh, get down to business here. So this Leo Mayer guy. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Uh, hang on, I'm just checking on something on my phone real quick. Yeah. Actually, I'm looking up. I'm actually looking up this thing on Furox's phone real quick, and uh, he has a lot of recipes. Okay, seriously, does Furox Frank actually watch a lot of cooking videos on on YouTube? I mean, seriously, that's all he does. He, he looks up cooking videos. I guess because the film he was working on got canceled, he's doing other films, and now he's doing like freaking <laughs> looking up recipes. Well, at least he's getting the at least he's getting some writing done. Anyway, this character is called Casey Laola, who's actually the main star of a, a book that we're working on called The Line. And his fighting system is called The Line Method, which incorporates uh, Line, the old marine combat system, uh, Tang Sudo, although technically more closely related to Shotokan style karate, but yeah, well, there's that. Uh, collegiate wrestling, and Micmap. By the way, I should mention the line system he's using is actually a mixture between the old marine combat system line and Kempo Karate. That's uh, best I could describe it. I mean, seriously, if you actually make this guy like a freaking badass. In other words, this is kind of like his, like, this is basically his Jack Reacher, kind of. Only this guy's a Marine, and Reacher was in the Army. And he's younger. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Hmm. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional hmm. debut here tonight. Freestyle, <laughs> that's a good one. Great. Ready He's ready. Ho ho. Okay, Casey's a smart fighter, I get it. Yeah, flip over. 
And getting up. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, he's being smart. I get it. Whoa. Okay, that was interesting. He uh, went from being the one being paid down to the ground to the one delivering a submission. That's interesting. I know you just is part of the McMap system, but this is kind of ridiculous. And he taps. <laughs> okay. So this is supposed to be the fictional character in the novelization of the line where Ferox Frank is working on. Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, I gotta be honest, this game's actually not that bad. I should probably do more videos on this. Maybe go through career mode or something. Hmm. But we'll see. Anyway, let's get back to the reality. Okay, well, um... Like I said before, I've played UFC 1, 2, and 3. One's pretty decent. Two's got a lot of fucked up issues. Three is actually the best control one, wise. Four... It's okay. Five? I haven't exactly played it because we don't have a PS5 yet. <laughs> eh, who knows? You know, maybe next time I cover this game, I'll try the career mode and see what it's like. <sighs> I wonder what it would be like. You know what we do need? A decent boxing game for this type of ge <laughs> for this type of system. But unfortunately, not one exists. EA, get off your asses and bring back Fight Night. Yeah, we know. UFC is great. But face it, we want back to fight night. Think about it, folks. Anyway, the Ferox Frank is having a new video being released uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If it felt like I was lagging a little bit, well, I'm sorry. Also, in case you haven't realized it, I'm not wearing my traditional flannel hoodie. <laughs> because uh, Ferox wanted to borrow it for the night. It says it makes him more, how do you put it? Feels makes him feel more mature. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, either way, you all take care now. <laughs> Rex Talno for Ferox Gaming, out.